Good morning, everybody. It's Faith from Fireside Tarot. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're going to throw down some cards for Aries this morning for the second half of April. Try to get these up and loaded by next Tuesday, which will be the middle of the month. So... How's everybody doing? Is everybody fabulous today? I'm feeling pretty fabulous. I hear some birds chirping outside me, and I kind of saw the sun trying to peek through some clouds. Sure to be a beautiful day. All right, enough about that. This reading will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the second half of April, if it resonates with you, okay. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given with the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can just forget your thought or check your moon rising or Venus sign readings as they come out over the next couple of weeks. Next couple of days, actually, because it's not going to take a couple of weeks to do this. I'm finally getting into balancing my time so I don't have to be like all hell-bent, go, 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 and then wear myself out. Let's see what flew out. Oh, the Emperor and the Eight of Swords Reverse popped out. Use a really cool deck today, too. I got one. Got this for Christmas. It's the Antique Anatomy Tarot. It's pretty funky. I like it. It's got skulls and stuff on it. Some of my returning subscribers may know I have an affinity for skulls and all things macabre and strange. It's just me. All right, anywho. A couple more shuffles for Aries. Oh, I forgot. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can, maybe vice versa. I'm still waking up, guys. Forgive me. Now we can do this. Okay. I haven't used this deck in quite a while. It might take a minute to wake it up. Okay, Aries, you have the Fool in Reverse. Hmm. Something you're not quite trusting. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Six of Rods, so Six of Wands. returning after the battle. You might feel like they're a little bit cocky, possibly. We'll get some clarity on that. What do you think of them? The Emperor reversed. Maybe a little vulnerable, maybe a little out of control. It's a very open-ended card when it's in the reverse. It has multiple meanings. What do you want from them? Hmm. Six of blades, so... No, the eight of blades. Eight of swords. <sighs> you may be a little bit consumed by something. You want them to help you sort it out. Or they might be a little bit consumed by something and you need them to sort it out. Again, all things being vice versa. How do they feel about you? Seven of Cups. They may feel like you're exploring other options. Yeah. 
You may feel like you have choices or they have choices. What do they think of you? Chariot reversed. Oh, being pulled in two different directions. What do they want from you? Queen of Coins reversed. They may want you to lean on them, or they need somebody to lean on. What's the challenge here? The double reversed. Disconnecting from something toxic. Or a disconnect in a powerful connection. This is definitely going to need some clarity. This is... I'm not going to say it's all over the place because I am able to put the pieces together, but it's very vague. Very vague. Which, you know, for a general reading, typical. What needs to be done? The moon reversed. Talking it out. Letting things out. Taking away that air of secrecy. Potential outcome. Knight of Swords reversed. Cutting off in communication, people being blocked. I'm still not understanding where the lack of trust is coming from. All right, we're gonna bust out a golden oldie to clarify today. Um, brought the steampunk deck out. I took some decks out of the box because of the decks I've been using, I think they're getting a little tired. So. Last night during the full moon, I kind of opened up the shades and I let them cleanse for a little while, put them back in the box, give them a little bit of a break. We'll see what these four decks have to say for the next couple of weeks. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Aries today, please, for the second half of April? Temperance clarifies the full reversed. Oh. That's not lack of trust. Someone's being skittish. You may be having to exercise a little bit of patience with someone who's being skittish. Could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. Hmm. Huh. Okay.
it's about energy flow. It's about the connection. It's about all the component parts of something working together. All right. Why is the six of rods here? Why is the six of rods here? Thank you. Hangman reversed. You feel like they've been through some stuff, but they're still emotionally hung up on something. There's still something they're hung up on. Three of Wands. Still in a state of waiting. Why is the Emperor reversed here? Some wands. They're still vulnerable, but they're ready to go get it. Ace of Wands is something new, something passionate, represents a fire sign. Nine of Wands. One last push. The walls are up. It's like you... It's like they're acting like they want to get something started, but they're still very guarded. They're still very vulnerable. Like, there's still lots of things you don't know. Why is the Eight of Blades here? Oh. Maybe you do want to talk. Knight of Swords. You want them to communicate. Justice reversed. They're still very wrapped up into something. There's, and you know it. You want everything out in the open. Okay. You don't want things to be imbalanced. You want to know. You want to know what has them so wrapped up. Maybe they're the one not trusting the relationship because they're skittish. Why is the seven of elixirs here? Seven of cups, same thing. Eight of cups. They feel like you have options and you're going to move on. They've been through it, Aries. They've been through it. One more. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Showed up for the second time. They think you're going to move on because they have limited self-worth and they think, they feel like you don't see their self-worth either.
or they may see you as a little clingy. They may not be used to... Why would they see you as clingy if they feel like you have options and you're moving on? I think this is self-worth. They don't see the worth within themselves, so they think you don't see it either. King of Swords popped out. <laughs> I'm hearing they see you as heartless. They think you're not emotional. They think you're heartless. Okay, why is the chariot reversed here? Death. Okay. Things are deadlocked, torn in two directions. Things are changing. Empress reversed. Think they think it's not going to go anywhere. They think that you're changing, that the situation's changing, things aren't moving the way they were. Oh wow, they've been through this before, Aries. They've been through some massive emotional stuff. Oh man. reversed in the world. This goes up here. I never I didn't ask about this card yet. They feel like it's all gonna come to an end. chariot's not moving. The chariot's not moving. <sighs> Why is the queen of pentacles reversed here? Why is the queen of coins reversed here? Hierophant. Oh, wow. They want it to work out. They want it to be a blessed union. They want to be able to lean on you. They want you guys to be able to lean on each other. They want it to be okay to be vulnerable. Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Two of Swords. Oh, wow. They want you to bring them in out of the cold. They want to see what you see. I don't think this person has a lot of self-worth, Aries. Wow. Not putting anybody on blast. Any Aries that I've ever dealt with, you guys are fixers. You often and this is like across the board for me what I've noticed you try to fix it and you walk into a situation and you see something or someone is broken and you try to fix them and then when you can't fix them you walk away 
They feel like you're getting ready to walk away. Why is the devil reversed here for the challenge? Queen of Wands reversed. The moon in the upright. Yep. It's not moving forward. Some, someone is still disconnecting from toxic energies. It's not moving forward. They're not talking about it. There's still an Aries secrecy. I don't think you know this person very well, Aries. So what needs to be done is those secrets. Everything needs to come out on the table. Why is the moon reversed here? Three of Swords. Hearts are going to break. Heads are going to roll. Emperor Reverse popped out again. You know, things need to be said and truths need to be spoken and things need to be illuminated and, and if it breaks hearts it breaks hearts and if it knocks the wind out of people's sails it knocks the wind out of people's sails somebody is extremely skittish in this relationship somebody has walls up Can I get clarity on the Knight of Swords, please? The Nine of Swords. One more. came out. The Knight of Pentacles and the King of Cups both reversed. There's a disconnecting communication and a lot of restless energy and things just grinding to a halt and a complete emotional closing off. If y'all just don't sit down and have a conversation. Things, light needs to be shed on this situation. <coughs> Pardon me. Stuff's flipping. Well, that was the bottom of the deck. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, wow. Okay. Reverse. Let's take the other two that showed themselves. Queen of oh yeah. The Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Wands reversed, and the Queen of Swords reversed.
cycle change, cycle shifts, communications being cut off, people getting bad attitudes. This may be a karmic connection, but the karmic connections teach us stuff, don't they? Let me even the energies out a little bit. Death and the Magician. This is going to manifest change in this relationship. I mean, change needs to happen in this relationship. Change doesn't happen. It's going to grind to a halt. Okay, Aries. Um, let me know if it made sense. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell if you want to hear more. I am still available for personal readings. If y'all are interested, shoot me an email. We'll talk about it. I price on a case-by-case -case basis, so... That's why I don't have prices listed. All right. This has been your reading for the second half of April. Leave a comment if you enjoyed it, or if you didn't enjoy it, just let me know. Thanks for stopping by, and since it's still Aries season, again, happy birthday. Know that you're loved, be blessed, and we'll catch you guys, let's see, I'm actually doing the reading Thursday night. It will not be posted until Friday for the weekend top and bottom, because um, Friday and Sunday, I won't touch my cards. Um, because it's Good Friday and Easter Sunday. So if I do any readings, it's going to be um, Saturday before sunset. Take care.